know what? It's a struggle for me. The, oh yeah, I think it's a struggle for because there's like, and I'm not gonna, we're not gonna do a, like a big deep dive on diet or whatever because I think you know everybody can. There's so much information out there; people can make up their own minds about whatever they want right. to do. Well, I think that all every possible diet that you could think of does agree on one thing, and that is cut the highly processed food out of the diet. Whatever it is, if it's in a wrapper, right, and it's got like more than two or three ingredients on it, you know, just cut it out, right? right. It's it's uh, it's hard for us because those foods are delicious. Like they're, they're, they're designed to be addicting. They're designed. You can't like right. open up a bag of Doritos and be like, I'm just gonna eat two Doritos. Right. You're gonna eat like, you're gonna eat it until you're stuffed or until you're like, you, you, you're ashamed and your fingers are all red because of the, you know, the cheese, whatever, or you're gonna eat the whole bag. Right. Because it's, it's designed to, for that. Right. So that's why it's so hard to, you know, as soon as you start thinking about like a, like a, I mean, a, an in and out or like a five guys double cheeseburger and a shake, like your mouth starts oh, yeah. to water and you, you, dopamine kicks in and because you're anticipating and then you just can't stop thinking about it until you go and get it, right? And it's a, that's the struggle is like staying out of five guys once you start thinking about that cheeseburger. So, right. But it, it you know, just like with the drinking thing with your metabolism and getting woozy and being dizzy and feeling sick and, you know, having lower productivity, the diet does the same thing, Right. If, when you eat, like, just shop on the outside of the grocery store kind of a thing. If you're going to go to a Mexican restaurant and you're trying to eat healthy, just get fajitas and, you know, don't eat one tortilla, not five. Don't eat the chips, right? Stay out of that that kind of stuff. Knock back, c Cut back on the drinking or eliminate it because why, you know, especially when you're working. You're there, to, or you're, you're across the country just to work. There's, you're not partying. Right? Why are you doing that, right? Not you, just, just in general. But when you're out there and you're lighter, it's always a party over and you're, here. Yeah, when you're walking up and down roofs and you're walking down properties and it's hot outside and you're not carrying on a whole bunch of extra weight or you're losing weight and you're not gaining weight and you're not you're not like feeling. I don't know about you, but when I eat a lot of like processed food and a lot of like delicious but garbage food, I feel like crap, right? And I'm right. I don't have the energy that I do if I just fresh fruits and vegetables, lean meat, you know, healthy fats. And just keep it clean. If I just keep it clean, then I've got a lot more energy. I jump out of the truck and I'm able to like just hammer out a bunch of claims. But when I don't, if I eat McDonald's all day for three meals a day, delicious Egg McMuffins, et cetera, then I have zero energy and it's just a struggle to drag myself across people's front yards just to get the ladder up, right? So right. It, it does make a difference and it's... it's um, it's like politics and religion, you know, diet. It's like everybody's got their, a, a whole thing on it. But the simple well, fact know, of the matter is, is that it's it's important to just to keep an eye on it and not overeat, stay out of the processed foods. You've been around me enough to know that I try to avoid places that have a drive through. That's typically my rule, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, it, we've been together like, oh, well, let's breakfast. Let's go over here. You're like, well, yeah, let's go to McDonald's and get a breakfast burrito and everything. I'm like going, really, man? I don't really don't want, <laughs> I don't want McDonald's for breakfast. And Matt's so going, yeah, good. let's go get a McDonald's breakfast. I did it <laughs> for you would so think long. Be, that... You would think if you met the, you know, if you've met both of us, you'd think I was the one that wanted to go to McDonald's and Matt wanted to go do something. <laughs> <like this. laughs> so, yeah. Well, I, I, uh, it's, and another thing, and this is the problem too with me is that when I travel, it's hard for me not to like, like act like I'm on vacation and like, and I don't care. Well, it's just going to be for this week. And it's just like the cat thing, right? You know, where you're like, when you're on cat, it's like, I know I'm going to probably gain weight. So I'm just, you know, screw it. I'm just here to make money. If I go to a conference in Vegas, you know, then it's like you get hungry mid morning on the drive down or, you know, you get to the airport at four o'clock in the morning and you're normally asleep or you're just getting up, you know, and like having a cup of coffee at that time. You're not eating a giant breakfast burrito because you're like, well, I'm kind of hungry and I know I'm not going to be able to eat until I get to Denver. And, you know, maybe I should just have something now. And then you get the breakfast burrito and it's this big and it's, you know, then you just got a gut bomb at 4 a.m. But you don't need that. Right. It's like, right. It's, a, it's a struggle, I think, for a lot of people. And I think that, you know, it's not just, it's not just you, James. Having your routine it, makes it, a big difference as well. Yeah. It, and it's something that a lot of people don't think about going into this, you know, um, it, 
So what I hear somebody say one time, it says, if you see a fat adjuster, you know, you had a good year. <laughs> <You know? laughs> right. <laughs> He was busy. He was too busy to yeah. cook home. You see, cook you see home. a skinny adjuster like going, huh? They haven't been getting much work. As an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three-level house in Xactimate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Hague Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Hague Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for and everything else. Looking at you, bird poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code Adjuster TV at checkout at HagueEducation.com. You know what's boring? insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.